So this tutorial is going to be a quick overview of Google Photos and then I will have additional videos that go into more detail of each area. But let's get into Google Photos. The first thing we have to do is find it and you can just Google Google Photos or you can go to photos.google.com. You do want to be logged in um, and you can click on go to photos and it will pop you up. If you aren't logged in, follow the prompts and log in. So let's take a look. I'm going to give an overview of what we have across the top, what we have in the middle, and what we have along the left hand side. So my first tip for you is no matter what thing you've clicked on, you can always click back on the Google Photos logo in the upper left and get you back to your home area of Google Photos. So what do we have in the middle here? These are your photos and um, Google tries to organize them a little bit for you. You can scroll down the page, you can take a look at the show, snow fun, year, those kinds of things, but you can also pull over to the right hand side and you will see a really fun easy um, timeline for you. So you can see I have photos dating back to January 20, um, 2005, but I can click on anything. If I want to see November 2018, 2018, I click there on the timeline and it jumps me right to the photos that were going on at that time. So that's an easy way to jump around. And these are your photos. Notice that you can open these photos you could share one of these photos with someone else and you can mark a picture as a favorite and then it will show up in your favorites on the left hand side. All right, so let's look across the top. If I want to search for a topic, let's say I want to search for a place, things that were taken in Helena, then here are going to be my um, pictures that were taken in Helena. I can also upload photos right here. I can get help or send feedback if something's not working or I want to suggest um, a new new thing that they add here. Here are my settings and this is worth spending some time on. Do you want original quality when you upload or storage saver? Um, do you want to share this with your work or with um, someone else? You can share your photos and they have access to all your photos then. So take a look at all these things in your settings. Here is your what they call the hamburger or the waffle where you can get to your other Google items and of course this is your Google account. All right so I'm going to click back on the logo again just to remind you that this gets you back to your main photo area. Again that handy little timelines across the side if you pull over to the side and hover. And over here where you probably spend some time. So under explore these are how Google has organized these for you without you doing anything and as long as you're um, location services are turned on and then these others are however it sees skiing forest lakes of course it makes a few mistakes so you can get these tags taken off if you want by clicking on a particular photo and changing the tags you'll notice if I want to see all my favorites that I did tag I click there and they will pop up these are my recently added and I can get to my creations, my animations, my collages, my movies, my screenshots, selfies, and all of these things by clicking right here. Um, underneath the sharing, these are albums that other people have shared with me. And underneath the print store, this is where I can order prints, even canvases, and Google creates some automatic books for you. The year in review, 46 photos. I can choose this and edit it, delete things, put new things in, or I can start um, my own canvas from scratch or my photo book or just order prints. Uh, we already talked about favorites. And then these are the albums that I have created. I have created these new albums and organized my photos and I can add photos right here either from my computer or I could add them from my drive. So if I hover here I can add either from my Google Drive or I can add them from my computer into this particular album. 
Underneath Utilities, this is where I can start a new movie or an animation or a collage. And I can move photos to my archive and I can even set it to back up all my photos from my computer. Now remember you're going to run out of space pretty quickly and that is down here at the storage and you can order more space. Of course it costs money if you go over your original 15 gigabytes. These are the ones that are in the archive, so you could take them out if you want. And the trash, everything in the trash stays here for 60 days, and that takes up your storage. So if you're over storage and you put things in the trash, you need to come here and delete them out of the trash. And here is where you can add more storage. So that kind of gave you a brief overview. Again, across the top, click here on the icon to bring you back here to your photos. You can get your timeline along the side. You can upload photos. You can ask questions to get help on how to use it. Here are your settings. And then spend your time over here exploring by category that Google has created or by going to your albums that you have created. And you can create new albums and move more in there. Hope that helped you get started with Google Photos. It's quite an awesome, fun thing to mess around with and organize your photos.